welcome back students so we've already started with the chemical bonding chapter and all these days i've been doing uh, theories i first started with the theories or approaches towards chemical bonding now i'll be going into the topics like you know topics basically means dipole moment calculating formal charges uh, doing the hybridization concept okay properties of ionic compounds properties of covalent compounds so today the topic which i'm going to start is hybridization before i start with the topic let me see what have i completed in this chapter yes so i have completed vbt theory i have done mot theory i have done vesper theory yes i've also done a concept called or uh, an approach called cosell lewis approach i have done all these please go through the videos and please send your suggestions and comments also i have seen students not taking interest because please remember don't assume that grade 11 marks are not added to your board so not a problem we'll watch till the month of february please don't do that because if you are aiming for your entrance exams the basic first page or first word of your grade 11 till the last page of your grade 12 everything is important for your future for you to be the future engineers or doctors you have to study the basic of ncert so please go through the videos reg on regular basis and keep making or uh, prepare your notes regularly so let us come back to the topic hybridization now so when i speak about hybridization hybridization hybrid hybridization sorry so in hybridization uh, topic basically we uh, if i define hybridization topic how do i define what what have we studied basically in an uh, atom uh, we have an orbit and an orbital right what is an orbit orbit is basically a fixed path as bohr said k shell l shell m shell and n shell right those are fixed paths where you can find an electron moving but when i come to orbital orbitals are imaginary pathways like imaginary where the probability of finding an electron is maximum means the, you can find but the probability of find the probability of finding i can find this electron but you can specifically mention or specifically fix the path of that electron so orbital is an imaginary pathway and orbit as a fixed pathway now i'm speaking in terms of atomic orbitals so atom I, as i said just now orbitals what i just now explain so now hybridization or hybridization process is mixing of of mixing up of atomic orbitals mixing up of atomic orbitals which atomic orbitals of the same atom like those particular atom of almost same energy and the energy should be same in the mixing of atomic orbitals of almost same energy to form to form hybrid orbitals hybrid means uh, in the mixing of new orbitals rather if i say in a normal language it's called formation of new orbitals that is in um, so two atomic orbitals mix up to form a hybrid new orbital which i'll be showing you so know the definition for hybridization yes now let us see the types of hybridization so two orbital atomic orbitals are mixed up and you form a new hybrid orbital which we are naming it as under giving them different different names so your hybridization basically are of many types you will be studying in coordination compounds chapter in grade 12th also hybridization but here in grade 11 if you understand the concept of hybridization it is very easy for you to solve the chapter in coordination compounds in grade 12th basically hybridization if i speak types you have three categories fine let us see sp hybridization sp2 hybridization sp3 hybridization correct now these are all involving snp orbitals so now if i am involving d orbitals you have hybridization like sp 3d right i am involving 1s 3p and 1d orbital now further if i go sp 3 d 2 more further if i go sp 3 d 3 hybridization now these are called outer orbital complexes these are called outer orbital complexes that means they are complexing they forming orbits to uh, they are mixing up to, they going towards outer side s after p then B, d now after this you have something called inner orbital complexes inner orbital complexes in inner orbital complexes you have the combination now you have to start from inner side like right? now d comes in d sp3 this comes in d 
D D two sp three. Okay, I'm just getting from inner set. Fine. Now we don't have D three sp three, but as such you have one more combination D S P two. Fine. D S P two is also there. Fine. So, so uh, these are the different combinations of hybridization. I'll be showing examples for all one after the other. I'll be showing how to calculate, how to write the percentage of S character, P character. What is a Bohr magneton or magneto magnetic moment? Please note carefully. And let us start with the first type of hybridization, S P. Yes. So when I speak about SP hybridization, yes. Now let us write SP hybridization. So suppose in the exam, your mom or your te your teacher rather, your teacher has given you an example uh, stating like this: uh, a particular molecule is given to you, and they've asked you to. Write the hybridization. Uh, hybridization. Show the ground state. Show the excited state. Calculate the magnetic moment. How should you start? Suppose I have an example with me. Now for a sp hybridization, for example, I'm going to uh, pick up a basic example BEF2. Right? You can pick up a basic or an example of carbon dioxide. You can pick up an example of acetylene. Right? All these have uh, sp hybridization. Acetylene sp hybridization. Yes. So all these examples uh, come under sp hybridization fine so now if i have to know like how ma'am how will i know that it has sp hybridization i'll give you a small clue to see whether it works now for example <coughs> if i speak about carbon dioxide molecule now carbon dioxide structure lewis dot we have studied c double bond o c double bond o this is carbon dioxide now observe to know the hybridization right simple thing sigma bond pairs plus lone pairs i think this is the easiest way okay sigma bond pairs but lone pairs gives a hybridization let me see whether this works uh, <coughs> for this carbon basically if i speak about carbon in carbon how many uh, sigma bonds does it have how many sigma bonds now this is your sigma bond this is your sigma bond this is your pi bond this is your pi bond correct so does it have lone pairs 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 no uh, no lone pairs right so sigma bonds are this is one sigma bond this is one sigma bond so how many bond pairs does it have two bond pairs how many lone pairs does it have no lone pairs zero so two means one s and one p sp hybridization for if I speak about oxygen, let us speak about oxygen now. In oxygen, how many does it have lone pair? Okay, let me write the lone pair. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It has also lone pair. Now, let me count. How many bond pairs does it have? Now, this is sigma, right? <coughs> now, this is uh, sigma for this. Now, for this particular thing, this is your, uh, this one bond, sigma bond, this particular bond. So, I this is one sigma bond, right? 1. Plus, how many lone pairs does it have? One, two, one. This is one set. This is one set. One pair, right? So two. Total are three. Total are three means one S and two P. Total are SP two. So this has SP hybridization. This has SP two hybridization. This also has SP two hybridization. That is how you are going to check the hybridization. So remember this: sigma plus lone pair is this. Count the sigma bonds. Count the lone pairs and add them and see. So now let me write the example for the first example for BEF2. So when I pick up basic BEF2 molecule, your teacher has given you this BEF2. As soon as this is given to you, start your answer like this. First pick up beryllium, central atom. Write the atomic number for beryllium, 4. Correct? Write the configuration 1s2, 2s2. Correct? Yes. Now, write the beryllium ground state. This is called ground state. Means it is not further excited. Write the beryllium ground state. So, 1s is stable, not required to write. So, write with 2s. So, 2s, how many are there? 1 electron, 1 electron. Fine. Now, this is your 2p orbital, p. Fine. Now, beryllium in the excited state. Now, beryllium has gone to the excited state. One electron from here will shift to this p orbital. So, what do we get? You have... 2s half fill and you have your 2p half fill and all are empty. Now this 1s and your 2p will hybridize together. I said atomic orbitals of the same atom will hybridize. So this 1s and this 2p will hybridize together forming what do I get? I get 1s 1p hybrid orbitals. 
so sp that is what we have written sp hybridization so now how do these look now we said s is spherical in shape p is dumbbell in shape so s is spherical in so your p is dumbbell and s will overlap this is your sp hybridization for beryllium only now let us come back to fluorin now when i speak about fluorin your atomic number of fluorin is 9 so write the configuration 1 s2 2 s2 2 p 6 6 7 8 9 10 so it, is, it should be 2 p 5 5 6 7 8 9 now a 1 s2 is stable not required to write now i have to write fluorine ground state so how is it looking 2 s2 then you have 2 p 5 right this is your thing 1 2 3 this is over 4 and 5 this is ground state now observe carefully this is stable this is also filled this is also filled for uh, how many uh, how many there is one only one unpaired electron this unpaired electron will go and hybridize or form a bond with this which is this is which one this is px this is py this is pz so pz will overlap with the sp of beryllium and how does it look structure of structure of be f2 so how many fluorines two so play so i'm going to write this here so now let me make one line okay yes now center one s this p and your this is of beryllium now p z of fluorine as i said p orbital is dumbbell shape that p orbital will overlap with this so this is your p orbital of fluorine p z now on because we, i have one fluorine here one beryllium here i should also pick up one more fluorine with pz this is pz this is for fluorine this is your hybridization structure so how are you finding it is linear right so when i pick up it is like this right b e f and f the bond angle here is 180 degree it is linear in shape it is linear so what are you going to conclude in the sp hybridization you're going to write <clears throat> hybridization I'll write a bit down hybridization is sp shape linear right type b a b2 a b2 we have studied in vesper theory a b2 type now percentage s is how much are you finding exactly 50 percent s is 50 percent contributing p also is contributing 50 percent s is 50 percent p is also 50 percent perfect it is completely uh, your answer is completely done right so this is how you're going to write so let us come back whenever an example is given to you use that sigma bond pair plus lone pair find the hybridization after that go with the central atom now this will be your step one this will be your step two right go with your central atom write the configuration after you write the configuration write the ground state configuration for both right once in the excited state one a half uh, electron will get excited to the 2p electron 2p orbital so now this now this s and this p will hybridize together now s i very well know is spherical in shape p is dumbbell in shape so combine both and you get an sp uh, hybrid orbitals now let us come back to fluorine fluorine atomic number is nine write the configuration now keep filling electrons 1s2 is here okay not required because already it is stable so 2s2 i wrote 2p5 1 2 3 4 5 written now there is only one half filled electron that should get hybridized and form bef2 molecule so that half fill that is pz orbital now i picked up this uh, sp here and this pz orbital dumbbell shape i overlay made it to undergo hybrid intermixing of hybrid or intermixing of atomic orbitals so the mixed up to get what what is the type of hybridization here we have sp <coughs> this is sp2 hybridization so this is sp right this is sp so if i come here it is sp p hybridization means with combining of s and p here also it's the same sp and p hybridization so finally come back and write type of hybridization is sp <coughs> shape is linear and type is ab2 we have studied right in ab2 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 l3 like that ab2 s character exactly it is 50 percent p character is 50 percent that is how you're going to write for bf2 i'll meet again with acetylene molecule and carbon dioxide molecule